chocolate. Hannah, don't you think you should be healthy and have some fruit? Okay. Hello, great trees. Hannah was just asking me uh, what she should have for a snack, and I suggested that she have some healthy food. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Healthy food. Now, our bodies have something in common with the car. Cars need fuel to keep them running. If a car doesn't have the right fuel in it, it won't, it won't carry on running. Now, our body, bodies are just like cars. We also need the right fuel for our bodies. And the fuel that we use for our bodies is the food that we eat. So, it's important that we eat the right food, that we eat good, healthy, nutritious food to keep our bodies working in the best order that they can. So, when we eat the right kind of food, the healthy food, the fruit and the veggies, we get minerals and vitamins from all the good food that keeps our bodies good and healthy. And a lot of these, uh, some of the vitamins we get are vitamin A, vitamin C, fiber, and many, many more. We also get minerals from these vitamins, uh, from these healthy fruit and food that we eat. And the vitamins, the minerals, and the proteins are called, can somebody guess? Yes, that's correct, nutrients. So, our bodies need lots of nutrients to be able to work efficiently. Now, how do we know where healthy food comes from? Healthy food, most healthy food, is food that does not have anything added to it. So it would be food that comes from the trees, that's grown on trees, and that comes from the ground. And here we have some examples of food and fruit that comes from under the ground. We have a pumpkin here and we have carrots that grow under the ground. And then on the, on the trees, we've got the, the grapes that grow on the grapevine and there we have other fruit that grow in trees. Now we know those are healthy because they have nothing added to them. On the other hand, we here have our unhealthy food, junk food, can we call it junk food? Yes, junk food. Now, junk food is not particularly good for us because hmm, it has stuff in it um, that's not good for our bodies. And this stuff is called preservatives. Now, food like chips and sweets and biscuits and cakes usually have preservatives because the preservatives make them last longer. And those preservatives are like chemicals for our bodies and the chemicals are not good for our bodies. So, we should probably limit our intake of unhealthy food or junk food. We don't need to cut it out completely, but we should actually have more healthy food than junk food. And every time we need to choose, we should probably make healthier choices as compared to the junk, uh, food from the junk food. Okay, now let's go back to the good food, I think. Now when we eat good food, it has good effects on our body. For instance, it makes us go, glow and grow. When we eat healthy food, like grains, make us go and then we have lots of energy and we can run and play and jump around all day. When we have fruits and vegetables, they make us glow and they give us shiny hair and sparkly eyes. We all want that so that we can look our best at all times. We also have dairy and protein and these are the foods that make us grow big and strong. So we need to eat lots of food, have lots of varieties every day from these different food groups that allow us to work better, to feel better, and to work optimal, for our bodies to work optimally. So let's try and remember this. Every time we run into the kitchen to get a snack, 
let's try and choose the healthy snack options like our bowls of fruit and try to stay away from the junk food that's not going to be good for our systems okay can we you think we could do that great this good okay now for our activity this week we are going to need an a4 page it can be a blank page can be a line page doesn't matter whatever suits you or whatever you have available we also need an old magazine a pencil and a scissors as soon as you've gathered all your supplies you're going to go into your magazine and you're going to cut out lots of different healthy food and unhealthy food and then you're going to take your A4 paper and just like we do when we're in class we're going to fold our page in half okay folding our page in half and then we've got two sides of the page like we always do we're going to write our date and a heading our date in april and our heading is food and then on the one on the one side we're going to say healthy and on the other side we're going to say unhealthy and then you're going to take your pictures and you're going to stick them in the correct columns under healthy and unhealthy food and next to each little picture or beneath it you can write the name of that food okay i hope you enjoyed this activity uh grade threes and remember it must be an old magazine because we don't want you taking your mum's new cosmopolitan magazine and cutting it up uh oh she won't be happy with that so please dig deep get an old magazine and let's get cracking enjoy your activity enjoy the rest of the week and could you do something for me great threes instead of eating all day long could you take a few moments and help your mum and dad with some chores around the house and try to be kind we miss you we look forward to you to seeing you back at school in the near future and keep going and working well we're so proud of you bye